sustained, actually. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, all. Good afternoon, Virginia. Firstly, I'd like to say that it's a great pleasure to interview Virginia. She's an icon of innovation in our country. She's an inspiration to me and I believe uh, to a lot of people here in the audience. Well, Virginia will talk a little bit about innovation and the public administration. Uh, the union has engaged in the situation of incentivating uh, innovative measures. And this is why uh, you developed in your innovation lab that works here in the Institute a lot of projects, a lot of initiatives, and some of them with good fruits. Recently, the union has formed a partnership with the national agency, a development of a product, a technological project, and we hope that the result of that is a reference, a great reference for the manage, public managers that are entering the, the field of innovation now and need mirrors and have a reference. In this matter, I'd like to ask you, Virginia, I'd like to know about your experience along with the control bodies and how do you know, do you understand that they bodies may approach the public servants and incentivate more innovative measures in the public spectrum? Well, good afternoon, everyone. For me, it's a great pleasure to be here, great responsibility after all this presentation. And well, my professional uh, experience well, can you innovate with shopping? Yes, you can. It's my case. Well, you can't do that because the union will not allow it, because the control will not allow it. Well, that's it. How do we work on these possibilities? If you have a world of possibilities to do that state is more efficient in public expenses, well, we need to come from the point that first, the public administrator does not do everything alone. Well, we don't need to have the answer for everything. We need to be a little bit more open to discuss and build the solutions in a compound way with the market or with our client because the market will deliver a good for demand. So you have control. Well, the main role the control may have along with the ministries and other governmental bodies is to be together discussing solutions because generally these bodies, these controlling bodies have a, um, a well-built team and they can deal with problems that other people have had with buying, with this process of shopping and well, uh, it's not about removing a case that will have a representation in this scenario of shopping. We need to put these actors together and finding compound solutions. And you have a better, uh, you feel more confident if you are a buying agent. The buyer responds with their uh, CPA, something they didn't have enough with the taxpayer's register. So to the court, so the court can go to CGU, and signal that they themselves are in search of innovation, creates an identity. We can see that there are a lot of actors looking for something and they are willing to build it uh, together. So we need to be careful along this process. Well, nice, Virginia, we can notice that great part of the innovations in the institutions, they come from individual initiatives, punk punctual initiatives. Many times a manager that is on, on one end and lives through the problems and is able to have a better view of the problem and he brings the better ideas in terms of innovation. In this sense, it's necessary to understand that it's a good practice, that the institutions and the organizations are opened and have a, a policy of incentivation and to, to have these ideas and develop those ideas and those projects. In which way can institutions promote this environment of innovation amongst it, the co collaborators? Well, with the, with my, in my case, we started using the, the agiles, the design thinking and other experiences that you put a person in a room, you get the client and then you go there and you listen to them. You hear what's good, what's not, and you're uh, available for criticism as well. And you need to listen to those criticism involving the servers in this point of this aspect. 
you are here. I want to listen to your opinion. I want to listen to you. The ministries, as they are central organs, the central bodies, I'm sorry, you are, you need to, to be available to open yourself to the other, to listen, look, what you did was not good, it went wrong. But when you stimulate and you respect the other's opinion and you start compoundly to build this way, you can create this environment that is of trust and you show that you are there naked to the eye, open to do this co-creation and assuming that I'm not here with the 100% solution designed and ready, ready to go. And people are living, maybe living to other situations that are innovative situations. So this is a... a um, a way to participate and to bring them inside this collaborative, corporative environment and also with the perspective uh, where you're free to have the idea but you have to follow the ritual of a public shopping that, well, you can create, you cannot create that by preference or by su subjectivity, you need, it needs to be collaborative. Well, in this focus on the individual and the role inside the institutions, once created this environment of um, gathering of ideas, there is a risk we need to treat, which is the risk of the multiplicity of ideas. It's a good risk, but it can lead the institution to know how to deal with, know how to prioritize their goals and institutional objectives. What do you treat? Innovation demands effort, you need to gather resources, opportunity. And in this scenario, what are the indicators that you view that may be used by the institutions to talk about those ideas that better align to your objectives? Well, we're talking about resources, right? Resources are few financially or people. You need to go through a process of prioritization bringing that to a public shopping, well, it's public policies. I'm almost uh, giving a lecture here. Well, you need one buying to be done and the state in a bigger scope. What is this public policy that I want to promote? Is it a, uh, to the init environmental initiative or assuming the economy gain of scale? When you start having these parameters of the result you want to reach and the possibilities I have, you have of actions, you start having the indicators to give you a north of what to prioritize. There will be a moment that I, that I will prioritize that innovation that will give me more money. And then sometimes I can gather that along with a logic of transparency, fomenting new markets, creating jobs, and being able to move in some sec any sector. Each project will allow us to stop and to this first, um, this first thought. I saw that here will be launched the platform of challenges of an app. Well, we need to stop and think what is the problem. We, we like to create solution solutions, but what does this solution come to solve? What are these functionalities, these objectives that I want to reach? that I want to promote, and I'm talking about indicators that will better orientate me in the reallocation of resources. Well, we got here a question from the audience. In your opinion, is it more interesting to centralize the processes of buying uh, amongst the states? How do you suggest the process can be simplified and have less incidency of resources of participants in the process? I'll talk here about my convictions because centralizing in the states, well, I say that is not even uh, an opportunity. If you're following up this law that states should create uh, buying centers, what do we have in the back, back, back of the picture? International experiences are not discussed anymore if he, privatizing is you have advantages or not. You discuss how to centralize. 
Well, let's not be naive that centralizing is a magic word that will solve our, our problems. There are some things that need to be decentralized, yes. What I have as a conviction is that we need to start working by networks, through networks. There are not a lot of things that the government and the state need to promote. We need to think of why in the federal government we have a kind of centralization in the state. I'm sympathetic that the participation of the state the state could be a provider of services for the unit of the federal government that is in Amazonas, in Acre. Does the federal government need to do all this effort to create a centralized buying? Well, couldn't they be doing other arrangements? So I don't believe there is a, a, a right answer. I believe each state needs to think about this possibility. But to me, it's, uh, there's always this message of let's think that we need environments of network and contributing of efforts, that each object, each strategy will be able to bring us a, a different reference, a different response. There are some things that I will not centralize because it may not be efficient. And, the, and I say even more, there are things that I'll stop buying because when I understand the necessity that administration has, maybe this is not the best answer. Well, interesting. We can talk about innovation without talking about risk. Let's talk a little bit about risk. Uh, the Laboratory of Innovation of the Institute applied a survey for control bodies or non-control bodies. One of the questions had to do with the perception of risk in innovation. The majority answered, well, this seems a bit obvious that in the sense of who innovates naturally, runs risks. Well, before this perception, there are those who defend that the administration should not innovate from zero ground. We could not uh, lead totally innovative projects, but look to the outside in the private market, verify measures already validated and tested in the market and incorporate that to our organization because this would bring more comfort and the administration will run less risks. What do you think of this thesis and do you agree with it? Well, I believe we always need to have in mind, uh, why am I going to 